All right. So this comes from Twitch. 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 So we have Wolf asking, uh, I only have an expensive wool family tartan kilt. No, Mac, 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 Mac. He said, I only have an expensive woo <laughs> family tartan kilt. Dad jokes for mm-hmm. the win. Oh. Uh, that he tries to reserve for formal occasions, but he has a rehearsal ceremony and dinner for a wedding. Oh. Um, he is part of the bride and groom, and he's been okayed by the bride and groom to wear, wear the kilt. Um, but the dress code for the events is anything between work casual and shirt and tie. Is wearing this this kilt to rehearsal ceremony and dinner only for overkill, or should he gear it back to just one or the other? I know what I'm going to say. What are you going to say? Sure. Yeah. Go for it. Rock out, dude. I would just um, I would just not wear a dress sporn necessarily. If you have yeah. a if you have a different sporn, you know, like a hunting sporn or a day sporn or semi dress, just don't wear anything with fur, and I think it'll be fine. I think it'll look great. <clears throat> and you're you're showing by dressing up in something that you love and that you look good in, you are showing respect for uh your host. You know, you're not trying to show anybody up. You're not trying to steal attention in this case i don't think um you're showing that you're there to be festive so i think that i yeah i would actually take it a half step further as recon um if he's wearing it to the the dinner beforehand then he could wear the kilt a little bit more casual and kind of gauge the bride and groom's reaction to make sure that he they don't like look at him like god why did he wear that you know he's taking my attention if they have those kind of like eye rolly moments or, uh, okay, it's fine, John. Thanks for wearing your kill, John. Then maybe you don't wear it to the wedding. But if they're like, dude, that's awesome. You're wearing a kilt. Great. Then wear it to the wedding too. And you don't have to dress the exact same way. That's the beauty of the kilt. It's very, very versatile. Yeah. You can wear a, a polo shirt with your kilt and a pair of, you know, nice pair of shoes, you know, get your, you know, your kilt hose and flashes. Wear it to the rehearsal dinner. Then if they react kindly, they like it, everyone's excited about it, wonderful. Then maybe wear a semi-dress or a dress born where you're, you know, your tweed jacket and vest or wear an argyle yeah. jacket and vest to the wedding itself. And they're half expecting you to, and it's, it's just part of the thing that is their celebration. Yeah, totally. I, 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 I think you're fine. I think it does you credit that you're trying to be sensitive about this and you're trying to be polite and cautious. That is very gentlemanly. Um, but I think, I think you're, you're actually, you're actually going to have a lot of fun if you do this. And, uh, I think the, the former of your statements about if they do the eye roll thing, I, that's highly, highly unlikely. More likely people are going to be like, Oh, I love the kill. Are you going to wear that tomorrow? Cool. Um, now you might be a little concerned if you only have worn the kilt for formal occasions, maybe you're a little concerned. You don't have the, the accessories for dressing down, um, shirt, tie, Sweater vest, good to go. Yeah. You don't and, need to do much different, honestly. <clears throat> and it also gives you a chance in an informal setting like the rehearsal dinner when, when the bride and groom are going to be walking around, they're going to be you know, schmoozing with everybody and talking and celebrating a little bit. You you have a chance to say to them, like, you know, oh, I was a little bit you know nervous about wearing my kilt. And if they say, like, if you're giving them a chance to kind of, you know, politely say how they feel about it in a more casual setting than the day of showing up and risking it. Um, some people will have the opinion of, you know, consequences be damned. I will wear what I want to wear. I don't care if they like it or don't like it. Don't care. You invite me. I'm going to wear the kilt because I want to wear the kilt. Your opinion doesn't matter. Um, other people will want to be a little bit more nuanced or want to have, you know, that, I don't want to say permission, but that, you know, acceptance at least before they wear it to the event. So if you are the type of person who wants more, approval or tacit approval or at least you know the nod of yeah yeah it looks fine um then maybe yes wear it to the rehearsal as well as the thing itself yeah indeed there Art. is there's no greater tact than dress to quote the pelham's maxims i'll i'll have uh jamie insert the the appropriate one here there all right so where do you fall on the scale? Are you more towards the traditional and you would never wear the kilt with anything other than traditional high-end dress? Or do you incorporate it into your daily life? 
or do you just do it for fun? Let us know in the comments. If you want to check out more videos that we've done on contemporary Highland dress and how to incorporate kilts into your daily life, check out these videos on oh, me